Hello, today let's discuss logical continuation. If we try and understand that since 2006, CAT has gracefully walked out of the type of questions which is of critical reasoning and has found an able substitute in logical continuation. Logical continuation, as the name suggests, is more to do with finding the next sentence to a given set of sentences. Here, there is a small little paragraph which will be given, say probably four sentences or a five sentence paragraph, followed by four options. We need to find out which one of the options logically continues the given paragraph. Now, when we talk about logical continuation, what really happens is that there are two to three different schools of thought here. And that is how the questions can be classified. The questions can broadly be put into the categories of the one that helps us draw a logical inference or one that continues the idea, tone or even to some extent tenses. And there are times when there is a hidden para jumble inside those four options wherein probably a couple of options might just be following the other options and we might have to just arrange the four options so that we get the first option as the one that logically continues the idea. There are no question types per se. There are approaches to solving these questions and one of the approaches that we'll be discussing today is applying sentence jumbling logic to the options. What happens at times is that the options and the paragraph are a part of a single large paragraph. The options are the succeeding lines to the given passage but are jumbled up to challenge the test taker. The problem with such a jumbling is that the tone as well as the idea both will continue from the passage. The correct approach here is to try and make a coherent passage using the given options. The moment we find out what the first sentence and the concluding one out of the four given options are, you will be able to arrange them in an order and you can just fit these four options just after the passage and therefore the leading sentence or the first sentence becomes the right answer. Let's look at an example. The example, marketing science researchers have long noted that the magnitude of advertising to sales ratios varies systematically across goods, depending in part on how one obtains information about the likely impact of the good or the service on a given person. This research distinguishes search goods as polar opposites of experience goods. The characteristics and effectiveness of search goods can be determined simply by searching their specifications which often can be quantified. The four options that are given here are on the screen. When you look at the given example, if the options are tackled like a para jumble, A will follow the option B, D and A have a link where D will follow A. The option C is the concluding one out of these four and hence the order of the option becomes B, A, D and then C. This automatically makes option 2, that is B, as the right answer. Here it was a visible one because all the four were forming a very coherent paragraph. 
there are some chances though the three of them form a paragraph one of them is something tangential not connected to the paragraph let's look at an example too on a larger scale the difference between left brain and right brain thinking can be seen in how a quality program is designed left brain thinkers tend to value a cradle to grave quality program they systematically design a program that comes complete with design control verification of construction and manufacturing statistical controls and an audit program the four options are on the screen This passage is a description of a contrast. Looking closely, option 1 is a contrast to the last line of the passage. Option 2 is a possible continuation of the last line. Option 3 is a clear contrast to option 2 and not to the second sentence. While option 4 is a contrast to the second sentence. because everything is a description of a contrast we have to go by the structure of the passage option 4 should ideally come before option 1 and option 1 should come before 2 and 2 before 3 the rearranged sequence would look like 4 1 2 and 3 here option 4 becomes the right answer the third example professionals can become comfortable with using certain tools and having certain viewpoints that fit their mental processing to become more effective in their daily practices however they must learn to move out of their comfort zones unfortunately professional growth has often meant digging a current rut even deeper by adding to an area of strength the passage and the four options literally all of them seem to be in sync here the second line of the sentence is a suggestion to a problem the passage follows that up with an example here we say the three followed by four makes a perfect logical sequence one adds to the description of the problem but is a new idea not mentioned in the passage while two is an unwarranted cynical conclusion of the passage two makes our job easier from the options that are given option 3 seems to be logically the correct continuation to the given passage from what we see out of the three examples is that generally this type might get confusing if you apply the basics of either trying to find a continuation of the idea or the tone or a tense here the moment we are able to ascertain that multiple options have a similar tone and an idea we should try and setting up these options in the form that they form a coherent paragraph the first one will ideally be the right answer happy reading